Fuck it, I'll just start recording. <sighs> Why do I always feel like shit, right, when I'm about to start? Like, I was super jazzed to do this, and then I sit down and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Okay. Um, I guess I'll talk about what I'm doing here. I have, I got this one for the desk. This one's really nice. This is the Raiden 6018. Um, it can do up to 60 volts uh, at 18 amps, and this one can do 50 volts at 5 amps. So, um, I've had it in this 3D printed case. I'm working on a 3D printed case for the other one. Um, where did the bat go? I swear I had it a minute ago. Right. Where the hell did you go, friend? There you are. Um, this enclosed like this um, but what I'm doing is what it had originally is it had um, on this side it had um, barrel jack in like a five millimeter 5.5 millimeter barrel jack and also an XT60 connector on this side and then an XT60 connector on this side uh, and banana plugs on the other side um, what I want to do and what I've been, I've never really been a fan of XT60 connectors, and I am switching everything to Anderson connectors. So this is a set of Anderson connectors. Uh, they haven't been, they don't have terminals in them yet. But eventually what I'd like to do is, what I plan on doing today, actually, is um, editing this file for that to handle some X. Anderson connectors. Brave wants to update. Let me clear some shit off my computer here. Uh, what do I have? Oh, so many fucking tabs open. Oh, Fusion's already open. Affinity. Uh, Alright. Uh, oh, we do need to go back to uh, Brave. Uh, it was on Thingiver. Thank God for Google, because I can DPS the uh, 5000. I like the stuff. I just want to look at that. Beautiful one. There are a couple out there that use less plastic and have um, more holes in the back. This has some great holes there, but never really had a problem with it. I want to look at this boy. Tell me all about you. How are people doing this? Um, yeah, I'd love to have just like my soldering iron have its cable always attached and then I plug it into the wall. Um, or vice versa. Alright, let's download this thing. Download one. Hmm. We only have STLs here. We got an import file to the bottom there. Um, let's turn off. And we just gotta measure some stuff. Let's make, um, create a sketch to uh, bump you open. No, I got all new. So plane, close. Thanks. Doesn't really matter. Is that really right there? Where are you? Negative. Put a fine because we'll I'll just fucking send it through the entire length and then just get here the rectangle and that rectangle is going to be 16 by yeah it's about the right size taken not quite hitting the tops there but this should be fine and then we'll cut off facts and move this I don't want too much yeah that's good enough it's basically the same profile like, I noticed that on, um, this. This is a new balance charger that I'm using for some of my larger batteries. Um, and, uh, if you take the Anderson, it fits in the same spot. It's, this, this one has a square, um, opening. It looks like it was specifically meant to put in the case. So the XT60, I could theoretically open this up and put an Anderson in there if I wanted to, which would be... A sick project to do, but definitely not for a different time. Okay, let's as um, DPS 5005 Anderson Batten Mmm, coffee. Alright, so finish sketch, select, extrude, zip that across. I want to cut. Alright, oh, I need to do something. Fuck, I wasn't even fucking recording half of the. Ah! Gotta pay attention. Otherwise, a really beautiful model. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna export this. And oh, I forgot tools. 
Um, put this on a boxy. Um, that's cool. I love that preview has this. That's really good. I don't know why no one can fucking do this, like, app. Why is that overhanging? I mean, I get it's for, like, deeper stuff, but I'm gonna get rid of those, actually. <sighs> oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, that's... It's a mesh, so it's all a bunch of, bunch of polygons. Ooh. That's fine. I'm gonna send that to Rue. Uh. No. Oh. Um, yeah, that's cute. Let us, I want to do the RD60618, RD60180018, yeah, this is the one I show straight, I think this is probably the one that I would want, although it doesn't look like it's, that was it? That was all you have? Well, let's six those more, a more better search term, 3D is fuck, I mean, that, that looks like a render though, that's totally, a, hmm. I want this one, but it's not available doesn't I, I saw it the other day that's actually a thing for that that span or that case is there that one's got a square body ish as well oh nice nice what did you do to it the remix so what did you do huh I had the other half shot yeah see this is just a soldery I like this case a lot. I think the other ones are a little... Beach ball bud. I dare you if this break. Fusion one. Oh wow, OBS is using a good amount of system resources. It only says 13, but I'm assuming that's of the whole because this is 100 and I'm assuming that's also like of a single CP core. CP. It's okay. I can wait. Alright, I gotta do some fucking wiring shit to, um, have... Where did that thing go? So, I should get these ready. Oh, that's unfortunate. I put... Where is my hair? Am I doing a clip? I think I'm doing a clip. This is... Team. Do need a few of these. And... I had to get so much shit off my desk. I don't know if this is gonna convert. Also, Fusion's still running in Intel mode, so it's likely it will jet like blue. It's a little longer. my red red yes will work yeah yes and i'm gonna assume negatives in the center really oh yeah great good job too probably done 14 on these it's fine i think 16 is more than enough for this boy definitely need to uh, do this anyways i can actually use although i might short for the anders Sorry, I keep doing stuff on my hand screen. Uh, I might not do this YouTube channel. I think I'm gonna spend a lot of my time just making stuff again, cause I don't know, I, I, I can't fucking focus on being a fucking performer and, and a maker at the same time. Unless somebody's managing the video stuff, I just don't think it's possible for me. This is not going on the internet, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? 
it's been a rough few weeks and I'm kind of getting nervous about uh, losing this spot and what's to come moving forward. Yeah, I don't think Fusion's gonna do it. Ugh. I mean, unless y'all like these chill-ass streams, I guess I'll keep doing it. If I can just do this, take this shit, and you're okay with me smoking. Trying to quit, I swear. All right, but for the pew, beautiful. Ah, uh, that's gotta, ooh, hello. Where, where are you? Get out, get it, get, get Fusion. Ah, it did the thing, wow. Hello, friend. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Okay. I'm into that. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I wonder if this... Yeah, that's fine. I believe that'll fit in the case. Okay, let's talk about this link. Just... Yeah. I mean, it's not the easiest thing, but it's way better than having to solder... Sit down and solder everything. got these ones backwards. Sick. Where's my vape? Ooh, you did, oh, you got, you got damaged. That's hilarious. Let's see you in, uh, visible only. Yeah, you got fucking wrecked, bud. And only that area, too. That's funny. I wonder, I wonder if we can open up the other one? This is a, a remix. This one is... This one says remix. Oh, it's... Okay. Fine. Now, and this one has a link to this thing, but it's not there. <sighs> Honestly, let's just measure that. Um, measure 16, and then I can cut the skate. No, not you. That's... Yeah, whatever. It's about... It's about right. Hope it works. I'll just send... Done. I'm just gonna send her the... Ah! Oh! Okay, red here. Sick here. Yeah, see? Sometimes it doesn't want to spring through. It's best to like take something like this and push it by the metal. You need a better holding tool. Stop! Please stop. It's going through. Ah, there it is. Got it. It's just a little hump sometimes. Rough. I wonder if there's a better technique to use. See, this one already feels, and this one might be difficult. Wrong way. There we go. I forget. I've been making so many of these at, at the couch that I forget that I can just push against the table. So this is actually a really good example to show what happens. Now this isn't going to be visible, but um, I usually put my red on the left and my black on the right. That may change at some point, but you can see. I mean, it's it's okay this way, but it is twisted um, to accommodate. Um, I feel like if I, well, that's kind of the way it is, anyways. Unfortunately, so this one just twisted over. But yeah, it's just, hopefully, when the back part is printed, then this will be like this, and this, and then I'll have the other way around. I think this is actually out. Yeah. That looks great. I think that's gonna look really nice and work really nice. A little bit of space. Yeah, plenty, plenty of. I mean, it's a, it's a little tight. It's definitely tight, and they probably screw through. Not sure how I'm gonna do the screws yet, but I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just do a rod. I'll, I'll drill a hole here, and then, um, through the other side, and just use like a two millimeter <coughs> rod or something, and uh, make it uh, somewhat captive somehow. And then the, uh, then, oh, right, I wanted to do that too, fuck. Anyway, I wanted to put holes for magnets in there. It's okay. And then just, like, having the back on there should, should hold it together, because it's got a little hole in the center. Um, you can actually put a pin through that, and then it will keep it captive. And then you don't end up in this situation where I could have probably modified this to hold, um, these, but, um, I just put so much glue on there that I just can't, I can't do it. So, um, yeah, this is, this is donezo. I can recover my magnets, hopefully. Oh, that one's on there pretty good. Y'all, hey, chill. Jesus. What do I have with some... 
That's what I was looking for. Took some uh, chrome off though. Oh well. Okay, so that's ready to go. <clears throat> um, what I do need is um, power. And I would like to start using this and get this shit out of the way. Get my keyboard out of the way. Maybe we'll do an overhead here. Move to an overhead. Yeah, that's way better. Cigarettes out of the way. Move this forward. Ooh, getting a little tight here. Is that my lamp on USB? Okay, I can get that out of there. Should make things a little nicer. I do need to make a little holder back here for my power supplies. I wouldn't mind still having a DC jack on it, but it's such a pain in the ass to double that up. I feel like I'm really looking forward to having more um, Anderson connectors available. So I'm actually going to remove this, oh yeah, I wonder if you can hear this, but these are like super satisfying little connectors. Yeah, this is good. Anyways, we are going to start. Let's do, so what I want is I want, ah, oh, that's super tight. Let's get, pull that back, pull that back, it's better. Okay, I want you to kind of live right there, and then you're going to have, so I want, I need this here, or pull it through. Let's get you under that, pull you through here. Which one should be uh, 60 volts? I think yellow should be, six. so we're going to have ground over here, power over there. Yeah, that'll do. Can I still get you, let's see if I have, I want to get this thing charged, and I can use it again. Sick. I can do, do that, and then I need some of these, display, and one of these. Um, can I do it with this? I also need snippy boys, snippy boys. My good snippy boys. Oh, that's. Oh, let's. Uh, I do want to rotate for. Yeah, that's way better. I did it on some of the other ones, but I never got around to doing it on this one yet. So that is good. Oh, snippy boys. Hello, snippy boys. All right, this is good. We gotta be a little bit careful with this. So yellow. I want to have live. 50. Um, I want to make sure possible and ready. Uh, Oh wow, you can actually see it. I kind of like it a lot, actually. I hate the multiple screw connectors for for those, but other than that, um, if you didn't catch what I was saying, th this these three are a certain type of um, DIN rail terminal block, and these are another type. Um, and what you can see is that these have kind of like a press-in bus bar. Um, I have these like longer ones and then just these two two P ones that you can kind of stack on top of each other. Whereas these are just straight and they're threaded screws. And then they have a metal bar in there as well. Uh, these seem way more robust and also the screw actually comes out uh, when it's fully uh, detented. Whereas this is more of a captive screw. Should definitely, I need to get some 12, 12 gauge. Need copper 12 gauge OFC, um, but it should be best, at least I hope. I'll keep an eye on the, the wires. I mean, if I'm pulling a thousand watts from that, it's going to get quite then I like to kind of crimp the tip a little bit more. Oh yeah, come on bud, you got it. You get Sometimes, I, at least I know on the, um, on this style that they're not like super bad. That's pretty, it's pretty deep. It's getting right to the collar, so we should be good there. Um, I don't think I have a ton of to go in. No? Huh. I just got, there's no purchase on it yet. Still going? Jesus. Oh, I see. So it actually disc, oh, I see. It actually unscrewed. Yeah, I don't like these. I'm, uh, not a fan here. 
Yeah, that it, that 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 can become. It's not fully captive. There we got it. So kind of got to be careful, y'all. Cool. All right, and then I'm going to do one here. Let's eat that. Yo, come on. It's all my own damn fault, though. Alright, tonight we're getting the rest of this shit off my fucking desk, is what we're doing. So, this is one of those projects. I can actually... Yeah, hear it kick like that? That's, uh... That means it's all the way out. Let's, um... And also, this that one went in super easy on that one. This one is having trouble getting in. So, I want to see... Yeah, there we go. That's, let's shove it in there. And... I need a different um, tip. My flat tips are currently indisposed. Now, do I want a long one or do I want a short one? So I'm gonna do a red to here, black to there, and then I'm gonna do another one that's longer for, if I have 14 gauge, that would be fucking excellent. Let's just make, doesn't even matter. Honestly, I, after that, should have. It's actually good that we're doing this because this is, um, this should be, this should read 58 volts now. Um, but it's good that we're doing this because um, this is kind of like a step that I needed to take to start moving the, electro the, the electricals from under the desk to onto this, which is then eventually going to go into the redesigned desktop, which is actually going to have st storage um, in here. So what I do when I'm crimping these ferrules is I kind of like, it creates a, uh, a pattern, but then you can kind of go halfway in between the pattern, um, whether um, axially or laterally, uh, and then, uh, then I move it um, towards the end, and then I can crimp kind of like the edge, the end of it, uh, and that will be kind of um, my... How do I say? Crips the tip a little uh, smaller so that it can fit into these a little easier. And in some cases, I like to take that off. Although, that should be fine in there. There we go. Yeah, these, these engage super nicely, though. These do not engage as nicely. Although, I wonder if a uh, nice, need a better fillip. I'll find an optimal one at some point. It's probably already on one of my other screwdrivers, my non-electrical or non-mechanical ones. All right, and then I need to make another one. So this should just work now. Yep. Cool. Um, I want to get this wrapped in some uh well this is eventually going to just have um cable on the back like one of these on the back so then i just have an extension cord from here to there what i need now is make a cable that will go to this unless i have one already no i need one for Ooh, this <clears throat> tomorrow for street all right I need to make some XT60 connectors too Jesus Christ where is fuck so I need this so this to this uh, I want to double check just in problem 
problem. Let's say um, DPS 5005. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's in? That's how it should be. 50. <coughs> I want to mark that. So this is in. Good. Okay, where is. Where is. That XD60 connect. Where are any of my modifiers? Chillin'. I've made. Thing that I can modify. <sighs> what time did you get a soap? I need to go get work. It's become, gonna become too late. Okay. So this is. This should be fine. I don't want. I mean, how is this? <sighs> so I need. What do I have in connectors, Rando? Sixties, oh, likely. I need to find some fourteen gauge. So fourteen gauge copper still. Oh, my you pot. Oh, eight gauge, not twelve. Oh, got a bunch of fourteen. That'll smite. I think it. I think it could be wrong. So I had. Here we go. This. So this is a good connector to go to the bat. This is thick stuff. I think this is like near, should be fine. It's a little burnt up, but I think it, oh no, you lost, you lost some metal, friend. I don't think you're gonna make it. Oh God, that's crunchy. Ah, maybe. Give it a shot. Give that a shot for sure. Ah, uh, these are maybe not gonna be the best. Also, this is maybe not, oh, uh, that's pretty good length. I want to get better. So I need to make this to uh, work on some batteries and I'm working on have a pair of um, electric motorcycles battery packs underneath uh, my desk right now and they are um, 12, 12S 7P or about uh, I don't even know how many amp hours they are. I think each pack, each cell is seven. I think it's 70 amp hours. Um, I forget what the full specs of it are though. So this, let's um, do that. No, ah, I want them even. Big time. Get out of there. So this will be to the battery. So should, if I connect that, that should give me display on here and then what we need now is uh, an adapter from so I do need an extension I don't know if I'm gonna I could do the extension here with this boy this could be my extension just keep this up here toss this underneath keeps this safe yeah I'm doing that for sure I do need another one so let's do you you, I think you'll, I think this is definitely not, it's definitely not copper. Doesn't, no, that's, that's fine. I want to get, I want to still use this fucking wire that I have, um, but I do need to get some 12 gauge pure copper. So we're going to do one of you as Two got squeezers. My case got flipped the other day, so everything's and everything else. Especially, I have zero Anderson terminals in my home. Everything's in a, they're all in a different place. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's just do one of these. There we go. So I got them. And I also need to do, I mean, ultimately, I'd have an adapter here, an adapter here. Or just like a, an adapter here. Honestly, that's what I should do. I need a, to just make this or as much of this as possible adapter. Oh, Anderson crimp. There is my Danny Anderson crimp. I swear I have an extension. It might be over there. So ultimately, I'd have an extension and then an adapter down here. Just a short adapter down here. And I could even leave those adapters in, in theory. No, 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 no. Don't push back on me. Where's that? I wonder if I can do it. Yeah, push there. Beautiful. That's how I'm doing it from now on. <laughs> Always just have solid surface to work off of. All right, cool. 
Not one of those. Could just right there make that a an adapter for XT60. Yeah, I'm okay. These are these 14 gauges will be super easy to solder into the XT60 connector. Uh, I need my soldering iron um, adapter though. Just over here. Got my soldering iron. Just drop that. Well, everything, why don't you? Might as well. Uh, soldering iron. XC60. You roll in, turning up to 400. Solder to my left. Okay, stripper. Honestly, I need a drawer here. Although, hmm. I got a lagoon table over there, a tablecloth. Negative. Beautiful. All right, I like to do this keep another xt60 on it while it's it from um fuck i don't want to i don't want to get heat shrink fine beautiful of course i do a beautiful fucking job on this one the rest of them are all fucking shit i mean well this is for i haven't really done many try it I, Trying to do thicker wire is just fucking madness. I mean, this should be more than, should take more than 16, uh, 14 gauge wire. Ah, oh, shit, I fucking, ah, oh, I melted that. Of course I did. Hey, Jinx. Oh, I don't think I have any to go over this. Oh, that could work. I guess it's pretty fucking wide, though. Oh, that's better as long as one of the sides is. <coughs> Insulated, and then we can just insulate the outside to that uh, addition length completely. Yeah, that works great. That looks really nice. Honestly, it would be great, been great if I just did a super fucking short one. Cool. So, yeah, let's see if this works. So we want U into U. Um, I'll go over here for now. Oh, I need better organization on my desk. Working on it. That's what all this is for. Um, let's do U into U real quick. I'm gonna do. And then output is call U. Like I think it's 21, right? What are we? What? Are, what? What? We have five S right now. Hey Google, five times 4.2. Perfect. And that means then we can do this into this. Beautiful. And then can't pull them all the way around. Wonder if I can mess them stretch down here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I wish I could show you this opening here, but I cannot because my balance wires do not. Okay, so what I would like to do now disconnect that. I would like an extension from up there to down. So, okay, and then I got my balance. So let's quick make this extension. I'm just gonna make this the length of this. It doesn't matter how long it is, at least at this point. I fucking, I'm loving the fact that I'm building, mm, that is cold. Uh, I love the fact that I'm building Anderson connectors on everything. I, I'm like super stoked right now. This, this is kind of giving me life at the moment. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't think there's much left anyways. So yeah, that's that's pretty long. I mean, whatever, I can always, uh, like if I need a shorter one uh, in the future, but I do like the, the idea of having like a nice long Anderson extension cable. I've, I have uh, loose Anderson over there on the other side. Um, oh right, I need to make an additional output out of this. Hmm. Uh. And is that one okay to be 14 gauge? Yeah, probably. Come on, dude. Bruh. Oh, you actually got like caught in there. <sighs> that's interesting that that's so dark there. Where did you go? Yeah, and I'm glad I spent the money on the crimper too. I mean, if I'm gonna be doing this type of work, it's like imperative that I can work quickly and not Oh, fuck. That's super... Oh, it's perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. 
Uh, yeah, it just, just makes it easier for me to uh, quickly on things and get, like, pump out what I've already done. One, two, three, four, five, six. No span. You know, kind of just chilling, not really thinking about it too much. Make me. Oh, that's way too long. Uh, please a little bit. All right, almost there. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this too. It's making it a lot faster. Go a lot faster. It's like. I love I love the fact that I'm having I'm like standardizing my outlets now or my like power power plugs and then eventually like I can have like just outlets around the desk or something like over here and then here maybe a couple instead of it just being a dangling wire it's actually like hard mounted there and then I can have uh, an extension cord like the one that I'm building right now go and you know, and then I can take this wherever, um, once it's got the back and everything. Fuck, ah, not work as well as I hope. That one just went in. I was like, sure, why not? Thanks. Thanks for making me. Wait, did you snap you? There we go. Ah! Please stop. Please stop. I know, I know we're hanging at like a eight degree angle. I need... So satisfying. Look at that. Now I have an extra long boy and that can plug into here. And this can live here while I'm working on stuff. I still need to make another one. <sighs> one more set. Okay, these are gonna get ferrules and go to that. And this is just gonna get another set of Anders. Cause then, then I can run both of the power supplies at the same time. I also should mark those as 60 volt. <coughs> um, um, might have some power issues while charging the battery, but I'm not going to be charging it that fast <coughs> as much as I'd like to. Although I might uh, end up trying to charge it with that at uh, higher speeds at some point. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I feel like the Black ones actually work a little bit nicer. It's the red ones that I have a problem with generally. Cool. Super long. So, second, connect you to this boy. Cool. And this is gonna get, this is gonna get some connectors, new connectors at some point too, but uh, not quite yet. That one much. Ferals. Oh, these are. Fourteen are the blue ones. These are a little sh yeah. So then I go like I twist a little bit and then go down the length of it a little bit more and then twist a little bit and try to hit some of these ridges on like the flat parts so those get crushed down again. Yeah, that's great. And then these actually went through, so I'm just gonna cut those ends off. Fine. <sighs> Red. Oh. Hello. Cool. And then black. Perfect. Charge you up again. Honestly, this should go this way. Connect to you. Beautiful. And then you can back there nice and cute and then this can come forward there fact <coughs> tack here I should just put a bunch there and blue tack there temporary anyways and let's raise the desk up uh, if I'm looking for oh, okay Okay, so I'm gonna raise you up as far as I can. And I got some work under the desk. All right, uh, so I got this to this, which I think is, let me get that, make sure you don't move. I wish I could show you what I'm doing, but 
that's blue tint, dark brown. I do this on face mark chargers. Rainy, cool, positive, negative, cool. Let's double check work. This is pause to see if I can get this connected. Start. I need a free. Can I? Okay, what's the current limit on this? Let's set the current limit to. Let's set it to. And let's see if I can start input voltage. Ah, it doesn't like that. Nothing's having a problem. My lights are thick. That looks a lot more promising than. Yeah, this is. This is. I like what's happening here. <sighs> oh, how did that happen? Oh, because you got bloom from. This whole part is going to be useless. Okay, let's talk about what just happened. Because I'm probably, if I do edit this, I'm going to cut that part out. And so, um, I got, what is it called? ISDT Q8. Um, I also have, let's go docs.google.com. What is that? Drive. Just give me drive here with me. Here's the batteries. I have these two batteries. I have two of these batteries underneath my desk right now that I am um, rehabbing for a client. Uh, they're at, they were at zero volts and I'm bringing them back up to life. Uh, they seem to be holding a charge pretty well. I think balancing might be an issue, um, but I just got um, a balance charger, this balance charger. This is the Q, yep, this is the Q8. There's also the Q8 Max, which is a little bit bigger uh, and a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm, well, this is showing. So like this ISDT company uh, has like a proprietary connector standard or like they're trying to make it a standard standard type thing where your battery's BMS has like a data line on the end. Um, and that's part of it. So it's an XT60i connection. Um, and that's what all of this information is, but this is what, I don't actually, I'm not actually seeing the resistance. I bet I could pull that up, uh, but, um, basically what I'm looking at right now is, um, this screen with red, uh, but these, all of those numbers are, uh, the voltages, and I have a, uh, 5S pack right now, and this is probably not going to take too long. Oh, I have one at 4.18, I have one at 4.16, 4.15, 4.16, 4 and 4.10. So that 4.10 is going to take a little bit of time to get up the, I wonder if it's going to be able to drain the other cells fast and, and get that balanced out before it hits that before it hits its uh, charge end. Cause it'll, it'll probably, it'll probably stop before it hits. I've got a couple people on YouTube they're showing. Could be charging this with 20 amp. Um, I could, I can hit 18 on that. Although I think that might be pushing it. I'd love to make some. Anderson to these, do I have any? I know I have, uh, oh yeah, they, I have my pair of these the parrots then I can feed that into this into that yeah my lights are super flickery right you got 100 watts going though it's pretty sick Let's see with that got one at 420 already are you gonna stay at 420 I have so much technology in this fucking bus I have a ridiculous amount of batteries in this bus and I'm just like hey let me just charge these other giant batteries off of my tiny house battery although this is three kilowatt hours my house battery is two kilowatt hours doing only at 100, 100 watt hours, I would get 2.4 out of my house. I'd be at, I'd be already through a day. So like tomorrow I'll be pulling sun. So, and, and that most of that will just go into the, the battery. Yeah. See, it's going up to 4.21. I don't want it to do that. Oh, Hey, brought it back down. Oh, looks like it pulled back, uh, pulled back on the charge current, so it could, um, yeah, it's pulling back on the charge current so it can start balance. That's cool. That's cool as fuck. So you actually, I set the current to four and a half and it's down to like 3.6 right now. So it's, uh, discharging some of the batteries into each other. 
and then um, but also maintaining just a lower charge current for the pack itself because we have uh, positive and negative on so it's a 12 s battery but I'm only running five five in parallel right now that's how many like so far that I've um, individually charged and that's been taking fucking forever and I knew it would take fucking forever and I don't know why I didn't think to get a balanced charger until now because it's been like four weeks and I've only been through five cells uh, which makes sense I mean that totally makes sense they're about five days per per cell um, but now I have this balanced charger and I can do the rest of them like super fast um yeah I have an 8S ba balance charger now, so I can do 6 and 6, um, and now I can just, like, this one's 5, so it's like, so I did the 5, now I'm just doing 5S, and then I'll do the rest of them, so this, the rest of the 7S, and then on the next pack I'll do 6S and 6S, um, and that, hopefully that should only take, like, 2 weeks, 3 weeks, and hope maybe I can get that a little bit higher uh, by by running a higher current off of that boy uh, that would be nice but I don't want to push it too hard I don't want to push the rest of my circuitry too hard I might have to end up uh, actually hooking this up to the main system because this is supposed to be a 24 volt uh, 10 gauge drop should handle way more than like 40 50 amps 60 amps and uh, without any problem and then um, these should be this will then be like the branch for my desk area whereas right now I just have 14 gauge wire running back and that's it's cold right now it's not doing too bad with 75 watts going through it what was 100 watt yeah this is gonna be done in the next hour or so so honestly I think I'm done recording right now uh, this was seems like a good investment. I I, I saw a 12s uh, charger, uh, but it looks fucking way crappier. Actually, let's go look at that one. Let's look at that 12s charger because my client's like, we should should we get this one? I saw this one. I was like, yeah, I saw that one, but I don't think we really need it unless. But at the same time, I'm like, well, maybe I should put. Uh, balance leads out of the case. Uh, let me just fucking search all of here. It's just A9. I want to see what this UI looks like. Isn't that horrible? We got, and it's touchscreen. Oh, okay. XT90 in. Okay. XT90 out. With wires. Oh, with wires. That means I can, 12 gauge wires. That means I can definitely just put some put an Anderson connector on those 12 s balance port it's also got an 8 s balance port interesting touch firmware upgrade through micro that's not micro that's mini bud it does have a touch screen though that's cool I I don't know for two hundred dollars I mean I get I get what you're building here also what's the the balance current charge current 25 amps and also just discharging at 100 watts it doesn't say what the balance Current is. I don't. I don't like connecting things to the computer, anyways. Like this, that's great. But what I need to know what your discharge balance current. Because what I'm doing now is like 1.5. I'd like to know. Is this what it is? 110 amps. <sighs> I mean, honestly, if we put, uh, since you know, since this is a dead was a dead battery. Yeah, it's down to three amps now. Since it was a dead battery, I should probably uh, route. Uh, balance leads out of the cave to a connect um, that can plug into this th so that she can actually like if we have a problem balance issue down the road she can go in and do a proper um, just like you would do like this is a motorcycle but like just like you would do with a drone or uh, an RC car right like same thing it's just 12s instead of 3s or 4s right so, I don't know. She wants, she's like, should we buy this? I'm like, I mean, I don't think you, yes, we should get, she should get this for the future. Because this is, these are at zero volts and all that jazz. And we'll, we'll, we'll do it. It'll be, we'll be good. And you just, uh, you just charge 
get your shit from an XT90 and export XT90. I just got a bunch of adapters and stuff. There's that. That's cool. I'll just split that and use Anderson's. Because I gotta get this thing back together anyways, too. So, like, uh, see what the internet has to say about that. Oh, did I just... Fuck. Just get out of here. You've been annoying me the entire... A oh, little bit of VHB tape. YouTube, what are you called? EVP. V. What is your model? What is your model? Give me a model. A model name. A9. A9. Wow. That's four years ago. Yeah, see, this shit is, like, I... After using this Q8 with this beautiful fucking screen on it, like, I can't, like, I can't, I hate it. Like, okay, it's got a touch screen on it, but, like... Stop. That's not an intro sound. Overview, overview of the EDP SD1. Did I name a new charger? Absolutely not. Just for mainly, mainly number two, I wanted to get some new after many years, which is a Team Ryan Duo and RC1 charger, but no RC and we got a Oh, wow, that's a, still <laughs> fucking terrible design. Like, guys, design your shit. Get some goddamn designers. It's not hard. ISDT figured it out. It's 10 amps. I want the A9. The A9. Yee. Yeah. Alright, I just want to show um, what uh. the new EDP. A9 charger and the uh, I should get one of these uh, why uh, power supply um, build so by I'm gonna start the process now where I get the voltage to set to full and that's on and now I'm going to start the charging process so charge and right away you'll see that it's showing 4s it should be showing 12 it should be 12s but it's not so that's okay. I'll just go to manually change it on 12S, and then I have it set for 20,000 mAh. Okay, that's a decent There's UI. There's two 20,000 mAh batteries in there. It'll be charging at 20 amps, which makes it a 1C charge rate. Cells, two volt, unbalanced charge. Now I'll hit the enter button, and right away, cell. This happens over and over, no matter how many. Do you times. know what you're getting out of your pack? Your your individual batteries last night. Partially, so this light bulb's in good shape. There's a correct order and, to it. Um, I'll do the same. Got with it. Other battery, plugging it into. Oh, okay, you did test test it. I have one of those boys too. And you can see that, that? Um, again, it's six beep, beep. S, about 23.5 total volts. All the cells are pouring all the cells normally. So the batteries are in good shape. There's just something wrong with the EV peak charger detector. All right, nerds, I'm done. Bye.